One of the major reasons for using the New King James Version of the Bible is a textual issue. Let me explain. This can get rather complicated, but actually it boils down to something simple. There are two Greek texts under the New Testament. One is the traditional text, and the other is called the critical text. Now, I said a moment ago, this can be complicated, but it's really rather simple. You see, the vast majority of all the manuscripts we have support the traditional text of the New Testament, but they are considered later. The critical text, however, has just a few manuscripts, actually basically two, but they are considered earlier. So all this complicated discussion boils down to this. The traditional text is later, but they have the most manuscripts, versus the critical text that's considered earlier, but they only have a few. So is it the many that are later or the few that are earlier? Well, I think a compelling case can be made that even though these copies are later, they are actually earlier. Let me illustrate. For one thing, all these manuscripts that support the traditional text were from the area to which the New Testament was written, whereas the critical text, as far as we can determine, was from Egypt. Secondly, the majority of manuscripts support the traditional text. And when I say majority, the estimates are from like 80 to as far as 95 percent of all manuscripts. That's a bit overwhelming. And then there is the fact that within those manuscripts there is unity, like there isn't in the critical theory or any other thing that comes out of the ancient world with that many manuscripts behind it. And finally, there is the issue of the fact that it is the traditional text that's been used throughout the centuries. Everybody agrees that it was at least present in the 4th century, which implies that it existed before then. So it was used all through the Middle Ages, through the Protestant Reformation, through the Great Revivals, and the Missions Movement. So there is a compelling case that can be made for the traditional text of the New Testament. It comes from the area where the New Testament was written. It has the majority of manuscripts. It has unity, and it has universal use throughout all the centuries. I think that that is a rather compelling case for the traditional text, and the New King James is a translation of the traditional text.